Good evening, everyone, and welcome to the July 27th, 2020 legislative session of the Salisbury City Council. I'd like to welcome everybody and call the meeting to order. At this time, I would ask you to join me in a silent meditation or prayer, especially for the family of Bob Culver. Thank you. At this time, I'll entertain a motion to, and a second to adopt the legislative agenda. So moved. So moved. Second. April made the motion and Mayor seconded. All those in favor, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda. Aye. Ms. Jackson. Aye. Ms. Blake. Aye. Mrs. Gregory. Aye. The chair votes aye. The vote is 5-0. I'll entertain a motion to approve the consent agenda. So moved. So moved. I'll so take Mr. Vote at that time as the, <laughs> the motion and Ms. Blake as the second. Good evening, Mrs. Nichols. Good evening, everyone. On the consent agenda tonight, we have the April 20th, 2020 budget work session minutes, July 13th, 2020 legislative session minutes, and resolution 3049, approving the reappointment of William Turner to the Revolving Loan Advisory Committee for the term ending August, 2024. And that concludes the consent agenda. Thank you, Mrs. Nichols. Any questions or comments from the council? Mr. Boda? None. Ms. Blake? None. Ms. Jackson? None. Mrs. Gregory? None. Call the motion then. All those in favor of the consent agenda, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda? Aye. Ms. Jackson? Aye. Ms. Blake? Aye. Gregory? Aye. And the chair votes aye. The vote on the consent agenda is 5-0. I'll entertain a motion to approve the award of bids. So move. Second. Ms. Jackson. Ms. Blake. Good evening, Mrs. Miller. Good evening. Thank you, everyone. Just one item this evening. It's ITB 20-128. It's the Salisbury Police Department HVAC replacement. The Department of Procurement received a request from the Department of Infrastructure and Development to solicit bids from qualified and experienced contractors to furnish all labor, materials, and equipment necessary to replace the HVAC system at the Salisbury Police Department. The, the city followed standard bidding practices by publicly posting this solicitation on the City of Salisbury's procurement portal and the State of Maryland's website, eMaryland Marketplace Advantage. Three vendors submitted a bid by the due date and time of July 1st, 2020 at 2.30 p.m. The departmental memo provides a recap of the pricing submitted by vendor. The Department of Procurement hereby requests council's approval to award this contract to Electrical Automation Services from Pasadena, Maryland in the amount of $585,515. Thank you, Mrs. Nichols. Uh, any questions or comments, Mr. Boda? Seems like this has been going on for a long time. So mm -hmm. it's uh, finally glad we're getting this taken care of. Jackson? No comments. Ms. Blake? No comment. Mrs. Gregory? No comments. I, I have my normal question, Mrs. Miller. <laughs> we have three bids. Mm -hmm. And, and the last, the highest bid is almost 60% higher than the lowest bid. Um, I don't know if Rick can help us with this one or uh, is there, everything was apples to apples, correct? Yes. Um, if you can give me a minute, I can pull up um, the bid tab for that. I'm sorry, I didn't pull it up ahead of time. Rick, do you happen to know off the top of your head the reason for the large um, difference? Um, 
no. We found it to be somewhat inexplicable. Um, but when we reviewed the references for electrical automation services, we were um, not only very pleased, but very impressed that they were the low bidder. Uh, so while it's not directly your question, um, among the references was the work that they did for Wacomico County Courthouse, uh, the Wacomico County Government Nursing Home, and uh, Warwick Community College, where they performed um, with, uh, they performed excellent, uh, very favorable re reviews by those clients, uh, well known as an HVAC company. Uh, so I'll honestly tell you, we didn't spend a great deal of time or why was the other bidder so incredibly high? It happens. And, and a lot of times I think it happens because they're so busy and they really don't care to get the, if they get it or not. And they're just throwing a number out. Um, not that I ever did that in business, but. Uh, um, okay. I did pull up the bid tab and we did have it um, uh, several line items on the bid. Um, one of the most notable differences was in the cost of the water source heat pump units. Um, that was a, that accounted for $150,000 of the swing. Wow. Um, Yeah, and that's, that's okay. And, you know, we're, yeah, we're there fine. was probably another hundred thousand. Um, actually, yeah, yeah that that was a that was a good portion of it. Okay, that's all right. Thank you. I appreciate okay. it. Um, if there are no other questions, then I'll call the motion. All those in favor of the award of bids, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda, aye. Ms. Jackson, aye. Ms. Blake. Aye. This is Gregory. Aye. Thank you. And the chair votes aye. The vote is 5-0. Thank, Thank you, Mrs. You. Miller. Have a good evening. Thank you. You all Thank too. you, Rick. At this time, You're I'll welcome. entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2609 for the first reading. So moved. <clears throat> Second. Jackson. This is Gregory. Good evening, Mr. Tillman. Good evening, Mr. Heath. Are you ready? Yep. Okay, this is an ordinance of the city of Salisbury accepting grant funds from the governor's office of crime control and prevention in the amount of $1,350 under the FY21 body armor program, which is known as BARM and amending the FY 2021 grant fund budget to appropriate these grant funds for the purchase of eight new bulletproof vests, level two ballistic for the Salisbury police officer. Whereas the governor's office of crime control and prevention has awarded the Salisbury police department $1,350 for the purpose of purchasing eight new bulletproof vests, level two ballistic. And whereas the Salisbury police department desires to purchase these new bulletproof vests in order to provide appropriate safety equipment to its officers. And whereas the required matching funds for this grant in the amount of $1,350 will be provided by the Salisbury police department in the protective vest equipment account. And whereas the appropriations necessary to execute the uh, purpose of this grant must be made upon the recommendation of the mayor and approval of four fifths of the council of the city of Salisbury. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the city council of Salisbury, Maryland, that the city accepts the aforementioned grant funds to be spent as outlined in the underlying grant agreement attached here to and be it further ordained by the city council of the city of Salisbury that the city's fiscal year 2021 grant fund grant fund budget be and is hereby amended as follows. Increase the uh, GOCCP revenue account by $1,350 and increase the protective vests equipment account by an equivalent amount. Thank, thank you, Mr. Tillman. Any questions or comments? Mr. Boda? None. Ms. Jackson? None. Ms. Blake? None. Mrs. Gregory? None. Hearing no comments or questions, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2609 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda. Aye. Ms. Jackson. Aye. Ms. Blake. Aye. 
Mrs. Gregory. Aye. And the chair votes aye. The vote is five to zero. I'll entertain a motion to approve ordinance number 2610 for the first reading. So moved. Second. Ms. Jackson, Mr. Boda. Mr. Tillman. Thank you. This is an ordinance of the city of Salisbury approving a budget amendment of the FY21 general fund budget to appropriate insurance proceeds received in FY21 to aid in the purchase of a new vehicle for the uh, police fleet. Whereas the Salisbury police patrol vehicle 1474, a 2014 Chevrolet complete, was involved in a motor vehicle accident was deemed a total loss. And whereas the insurance proceeds received for the value of the vehicle totaled $13,050, and whereas the Salisbury Police Department uh, SPD is requesting that the insurance proceeds of $13,050 for the vehicle be, be placed in the SPD vehicle purchase account. And whereas the SPD will utilize the funds from the insurance proceeds toward the purchase of an additional vehicle for the Salisbury Police Department within the FY21 budget year. And whereas appropriations necessary for the vehicle purchase must be made upon the recommendation of the mayor and approval of four fifths of the council of the city of Salisbury. Now, therefore, be it ordained by the city council of the city of Salisbury that the city's fiscal year 2021 general fund budget is hereby amended as follows increase insurance proceeds by $13,050, increase the police department police services vehicle account by $13,050. Thank you, Mr. Tillman. Any questions or comments? Mr. Boda? No questions. Ms. Jackson? No questions. Ms. Blake? None. Ms. Gregory? None. Hearing none, I'll call the motion. All those in favor of ordinance number 2610 for the first reading, please signify by saying aye. Mr. Boda? Aye. Ms. Jackson? Aye. Ms. Blake? Aye. Mrs. Gregory. Aye. And the chair votes aye. The vote is 5-0 and passes. At this time, uh, I'll open the floor for public comments uh, from anybody relative to any of the agenda items uh, on this agenda tonight. Um, Julia, do we have any? Jack. Could I, I'd like to make a comment. Um, it's not 100% related to the agenda, but there's also additional sad news that the, was struck the community today. Um, Bruce Wharton passed away um, today um, and he's a victim of the COVID-19 pandemic. So again, the seriousness of all of this is, is, is relevant. And Bruce was a, you know, a pillar in this community um, for amateur sports um, with the Kappa Basketball League that I was privy to for 10 years when I worked for the county and then also high school basketball and just the whole basketball community. And in April, I know April specifically knew him really well and, and a lot of people knew him really well. You know, it's just another tremendous loss to this community this week. Um, and then again, just the seriousness of this pandemic. So just wanted to make that comment. Wow. Thank you, Andy. That's, uh... Terrible news, um, loss of any life, but somebody that you know, you've known and work with, um, it's, it's a big loss for the city. There's no question about it. And I think it also highlights the fact that we're not out of this yet. Right. You know, and, and we see what's going on in other areas of the country. God help us. Please, you know, anybody that's watching, please maintain your social distancing. And um, Where? sorry about that. Your social distancing and wearing your masks when you're out. Um, it's a shame and we, you know, we don't need to lose anybody else. Mm -hmm. So mm -hmm. please, please follow. Thank you, Andy, for that. Um, any other uh, public comments, Julia? Requests for public comment? Uh, I don't see any in the chat, and I just see one guest with us. So um, unless he wants to make a comment, I think we're we're okay. Good to have you here tonight, Tonto. Thank you, uh, Council members, for the good of the order. Uh, first, let's hear from um, Julia. I understand you were down opening the roundabout today. <laughs> I was, and I'm sorry I came back as a, a 
little glistening. <laughs> it was hot out there, but uh, I can report that the circle is open and it looks absolutely fantastic. Uh, tomorrow, um, they have a, a little bit of work to do, just um, putting up some guardrails. So uh, a few lanes will just be momentarily uh, down, reduced down to one, and then they just have to paint um, the crosswalks. And then we are putting up, uh, Chris and, and our team are putting up two gateway signs into downtown and into the Camden sign. I think folks will really like the Camden sign that we're putting up. It's uh, a really nice design. So um, excited. Fantastic. Congratulations. Check, check the box. Very nice. Very yeah, nice. Check, check another box. That's what we got to do is keep checking the box. Check, check the box. Good. Okay. Uh, comments from the council, Mr. Boda. Keep uh, supporting our local businesses and restaurants. Uh, and uh, just everybody stay safe and cool. Thank you, Mir. Ms. Jackson. Um, I also like to follow up with what um, Andy said about Bruce Wharton a very, very outstanding man who has helped the community very much and helped our youth. And I would like to see a proclamation come from the city of Salisbury for all that he has done. He's also worked in county, city, everywhere. He's traveled with these kids. He's done so much for over, I know, 30 years with these young people. So he deserves it. And also I want to remind the community, Wednesday at 6 p.m., um, community mural input meeting at the VFW post 10159. Um, we need some input of people who would love, they would love to see on the mural for, our, for that community. Um, and we're looking for you to be there. Um, you can also go via the city website or you can go on Facebook and RSVP because there are limited spaces and please be reminded to wear your mask and we will be social distancing as well. So we'd love to see, we'll have some refreshments there, um, but looking for the community to come out and support this mural. Thank you, Julie. Thank you, Jack. Thanks, April. Ms. Blake. Um, it's, it's so sad to hear about all this loss this week. It just seems like this has been a really tough week. Mm -hmm. Just if you're healthy, please donate blood as, as usual and uh, you know, stay safe and please stay out of this heat. I cannot handle this heat. Jack, take the heat away, please. <laughs> it's too much. I wish I could. I wish much. I could. Thank you. Mrs. Gregory. Uh, I, it is very sad news. And uh, I know it does seem like there's a lot of sad news going around this week. Um, I just, you know, like everyone else has said, Please wear your mask. Please take this seriously. Um, when you go out in public, you wear a mask to protect others, not necessarily yourself to protect the others. And uh, you, you need to be better at that. Also, complete the census if you haven't already. Thank you. Hey, Jack, I would like to say one thing. Sure. No one knows what COVID looks like. No one knows who has COVID. So please, I beg you. I had it and I do not wish this on anyone. Please wear your mask, social distance, and sanitize your hands wherever you go. Just, just be careful because this is taking people's lives, many people's lives, and we must continue to be safe. It's not a game. It's not fun anymore. People are dying from this and have been for a while. Thanks very much. Jack. Yeah. Can I say one other thing? Uh, just connecting April on the proclamation, uh, we'd be happy to do that. Perhaps you and Andy and Kim can work together since you all seem to have the, the knowledge, um, but we'd be happy to do that. Okay. Thank you. Um, last thing I, c I have to say tonight is, uh, as I always do, back up one of our council people, Ms. Blake, if you're healthy enough, uh, we are still not out of the woods with blood. Uh, and we need all healthy people that can to donate blood. So please give it some serious thought, uh, put it in your calendar and, and make a note of it. So thank you everyone for attending tonight. Uh, we wish you well, stay cool and stay safe. Thank you, good night.